This recipe is really special to me because it reminds me of some of my fondest childhood memories. I grew up in London and English trifle is very traditional. They make so many different versions of it, but I think this is my favorite one because it really lets you showcase the ingredients. It's like a surprise every time that you take a bite. I'm Chef Nicole Vitano, and this is my mixed berry English trifle. I like to start this recipe with the pound cake. Soften butter and sugar. Cream them together. I then add five eggs, one of them only the yolk. Vanilla and Himalayan sea salt. Scrape the bowl down and incorporate that all together. Add all-purpose flour and milk, alternating between the two equally until I achieve a texture that is light and airy that makes perfect ribbons. Take all of the batter and put it into a loaf pan with butter on the inside into a 350 degree oven for 50 minutes. While the pound cake is cooking, I get started on my berries. I like to buy fruit at the farmer's market. After I go and get all of that great fruit, it's good to know that I can use a can of Ready Whip. It doesn't have any artificial sweeteners or flavorings. Slice strawberries, cut in half blackberries, and place them in a bowl with whole raspberries. Lemon and orange zest. I take tarragon, Thai basil, and mint and I pick the leaves off the stem and I reserve them for later. Then I take the stems and I bruise them with the back of a knife to release all of the flavor. A little bit of sugar and orange liqueur. Toss it all together very gently. Reserve the fruit to the side and start to make toasted almonds on medium high heat. Add a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pink peppercorn. Toast it for about five to seven minutes until it's golden brown. Take the pound cake out of the oven and let it cool for about 40 minutes. When the pound cake is cool, slice it a quarter of an inch thick and get ready to assemble the trifle. I like to make this dish the traditional way in a large glass container. Start by putting the berries at the bottom. Top them with slices of pound cake breaking them up to fill in all the holes. Toasted almonds, herbs, orange, and lemon zest. Continue this process another time until really the best part, which is the ready whip. You wanna put a really thick layer because that's the glue that really holds the whole thing together. One of my favorite things about it is that it's made with real dairy cream. Repeat that process, and finally you top it off with the last layer. You really never can have enough. I'm very grateful that Ready Whip makes it a little bit easier. It takes a little bit of the work out of it for me and helps me to be able to spend more time with my family.